Big question. If Trump is not a Russian spy, why does the deep state hate him so much? Now, what the right wing is calling the deep state, I think it's what we used to call the military industrial complex. Okay, so Eisenhower talked about the military industrial complex. A few years later, people think they might have had something to do with the Kennedy assassination or whatever, but basically for that whole stretch of time, over 50 years, we didn't hear anything about a deep state's undermining a president. They're trying to get him out. They're plotting coups at every turn against him or something like that. And it seemed to be generally accepted that the head of the federal government, be it Bush or Obama or whoever it is, uh, the deep state Deep state doesn't have any real interest in getting rid of that person. And so I'm curious to know all these Trump people that talk about him being a cabal of people against him. Why do those people hate him so much? And they've never been able to really explain that unless you really believe that he's a Russian spy. Like if you believe he's a Russian spy or colluded with the Russians or bad for America's security interest in some way, because the deep state... What, what's, what's their agenda? Like they want to keep America safe or they want wars in the Middle East or they want a global, they want the new world order, which all these right-wing people are terrified of, but really just means a world, a world that America rules. I mean, there's a new world order. That means America's in charge. We're talking about NATO, the United Nations. China can't stand up to us. Russia can't do anything to us. I don't know why Americans would be afraid of that so much. Uh, you know, unless they go into deep X-Files territory and think, oh, they're going to start killing off all of the Americans who disagree with them and things like that. But Trump has more likely threatened to do that. He's talked about taking people's guns away. He's shown all these fascist tendencies. He's talking about executing drug dealers. He's firing assistant FBI directors that don't agree with him two days before retirement. I mean, he seems more likely to be doing that stuff than so, some so-called deep state of a cabal of CIA and State Department people, I guess, is what they're talking about. But those people want a, a world that America's in control of. And I'm not so sure why that would be a bad thing and why the American president would not want the same thing. But what we've seen with Trump pulls out of the Iran deal, which benefits Russia, pulls out of the Paris Climate Accords, which benefits Russia and China, pulls, it sh has broken every promise that Obama ever made, Shits all over the UN, shits all over NATO, isolates our allies, wants to put a steel tariff, which they say won't affect Russia or Chinese steel, it'll affect European steel, uh, seems to just just want us completely isolated on the world stage. And I'm just not, I, I just, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting like why he would want that and why the deep state, how they're not on the right side of this whole thing versus Trump versus them. And, and why do they want him gone if he's so good for American interests? Like if he's just really looking out for our best interest and he doesn't have some foreign powers agenda, because that's what the deep state's all about, right? It was going to stop Vietnam for the communists and it was always about fighting the Cold War and always about standing up to the Russians. Why are they the enemy? The FBI, CIA, NSA, there's, there's, 17 different intelligence agencies. I had to look this up. I mean, there's there's places I've never even heard of. The NRO, the National Reconnaissance Officer, whatever. The, the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, the Navy, they've all got their own intelligence agencies. The State Department has its own intelligence agency, which I don't think Rick Tillerson even fucking knew about. I mean, Trump put a Russian spy like Tillerson, which we see the video of, of Putin putting a medal over Tillerson, and then hear things like, okay, he didn't put an ambassador in South Korea or Turkey or all these important countries. He didn't put one in South Korea or Japan. Well, who would that benefit? Oh, I don't know, China, who wants us kind of isolated away from Japan and South Korea. They don't want us together with them. He didn't fund the State Department. He didn't stock it properly or staff it properly. And the only reason Trump fired him is because he pissed him off over some personal grievance. So, again, maybe somebody in the comments can explain to me, like, if the deep state is real and if they truly hate Trump, how is that... How does, like, why would they do that unless Trump were bad for American interest?